Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation every single day. And coming up soon, I am going to be doing a four-month predictive again. Those have been pretty popular in the past for the months of May, June, July, and August. You'll have to look out for that. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, love, career, moving, anything you could ask about. Mondays are different every week. So I mentioned that four-month predictive. That's one example. But I do a love reading. I do a law of attraction tarot card reading. Those are all kind of fun. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Taurus need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Taurus? Messages for Taurus, please. All right, we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. You have here the seven of wands, the emperor, the seven of swords. That came out in Aries too. The hierophant. Now I like that with the emperor, the tower, the five of wands, the five of pentacles and the star. What an interesting reading. You know, the tarot is your best friend who always tells you the truth and there's some real stuff going on in here. So we have here Taurus, Aries, we have Aquarius here. We have four major arcana. What's interesting too is that the tower comes after the devil and the star comes after the tower. Okay, so what, whatever the tower is present, it's always for your best and highest good. But like I said, you've got some interesting cards, especially when we have cards that are basically in order. So for somebody here, if you have, if it's reconciliation, because you have something here, you've got a conflict. Or even if it's an issue within your family, I feel like that damn Seven of Swords is plunked right between the Emperor and the Hierophant to make a freaking statement. You know what I mean? It's like, well, we're going to screw up this major kind of lineup with this Seven of Swords insecurity. Well, with this, we have the Architect of the Universe, the Goddess of Truth, and that Hierophant, the secret force called Forth. So I feel like you are going to be moving forward here. But the, t the tarot will help you in terms of navigating this. This is why we turn to sacred divination. I do feel like with that seven of wands, whoever this is, they may need to be a bit careful. I mean, you are Taurus the bull. I think I mentioned before my work bestie was a Taurus for many years. I used to say that we had an invisible string between us. And, and she was a lot like this, very determined. But I do feel like... I feel like you know when you're right, okay? And so if it's something at work... I do feel like there's going to be with the two fives that are here, there's going to be a change. Whatever it is, there's going to be somebody who departs and it may not be you, quite frankly, especially if you know that this is right. Now, if it's something to do with a house where you've been trying to duke it out about something to do with property or property values or property lines, I keep getting something about that. I do feel like there will be a decision made and it's going to help weed through this and straighten it around to get rid of the conflict. But those of you, too, you've got a marriage card here, too. So I do feel like with the Seven of Wands, if, you have a, if you've had a difficult ending to a relationship, I do feel like with this, it's all about getting back into alignment. Sevens are victory, successful conclusions. And so for some of you, though, you really do need to have that Hierophant energy because we want to, we don't want to get into a new relationship like this. I mean, this is will. It's it's a bit of force, okay? So you have it here too. I mean, the emperor always gets his way. I'm, I'm an Aries sun. My birthday is April 14th. And with a Capricorn rising and a Virgo moon, hell, I'm great fun to be at a standing room only concert because I'll get right to the front. But 
again, you know, you have to know when to tone it down a bit. Now, I do feel like with this, though, it's really showing you that you have power in a situation, authority. That's what this is all about, and discipline. So especially if there's been something dishonest with that damn Seven of Swords, you have the two Sevens, the Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. So it's almost like they're battling each other, good versus evil, light versus dark. I do feel like the good guys went out here, though, because nothing, nothing tops an emperor. He is the very top of all. He is the authority. And so with this, you have somebody who's going to come in. And if it's a situation, if you're having some kind of conflict in your in your family, and this is your significant other, my God, are they a rock for you. Whoever this is, if it's somebody new coming into your life too, I feel like they're going to have your back. Everybody needs an emperor in their corner because when they're on your side, they're, I mean, they are with you loyalty. This is pure loyalty. It's also very loyal in terms of being an employee too, though. So those of you that have said, I've been investing in this. I've been doing the right thing. I'm tired of watching this person around me cut all these corners. Or if there's somebody, again, if they've been embezzling or something like that, I do feel like it's not just the satisfaction of watching them you know, be called up to justice. But I also feel like it's going to be one of those things where your loyalty is going to be paid off. Now, he is about logic and reason, but you see that little trickle that goes past the wheat in the background? That's also saying, let's not forget we're divine beings. So the the hierophant and the star kind of bring in the balance on this one. Um, he is the father of the tarot, though. So in relationships, I just keep getting this very strong protective energy. Uh, with the Seven of Swords, you've got an interesting balance here because I feel like you have cards of wisdom around you, of knowing, of understanding. And if you're saying, yeah, I've been watching this shit show, pardon my language in this reading, but it's really this energy. If you say, I'm the one, I've been watching this crap go down, it's going to be coming to light. So with the Seven of Swords, that yellow in the background is so important because it indicates blessings and gifts. So if it's something where it almost just turns your stomach, to watch the dishonesty, I do feel like it's going to be a situation that you're going to move out of. The tower is going to come and give somebody a big dose of honesty. This is not the time to be in seven of swords, not in this reading. So with the Hierophant, you have unity and devotion. The Hierophant also holds up his hand and says, be still and know. Know that we live in a universe, a fair and just universe. It's all vibrational. So what you're doing here, your point of attraction, especially with these major arcana, it's so important. We have half the reading is major arcana. And so with this, it's saying that you're in this place where you're almost insulated. You're almost, you've almost got like this insurance or some kind of protective barrier around you where they say all will be well. Now you do have unity and devotion here. For some of you too, this is about teaching and learning, but overall it's high morality. And so I do feel like if there's been something um, unjust, I just keep getting, this is where the morality comes into place and the universe says, hey, we don't let the bad guys win. So if somebody took off with your money or again, it's somebody at work who just doesn't seem to know what they're doing and they keep getting promoted, here's where things come into balance again. So the Hierophant, the numbers 3, 7, 12 are often a, a, uh, associated with this, but you also have these two keys to the universe. So I do feel like whatever is happening here, you are gonna come out in that place where once the dust settles, it's going to feel like everything is peaceful, everything is calm, and especially with a relationship, whoever this is, this is somebody who's a partner for life, okay? This is somebody you always want to have in your corner, and they're very, um, you know, even though they've got the energy of the emperor too, with this and the star together, they've got that tranquility, that peaceful, that calming energy, that calming influence. So this isn't somebody that goes and lets the air out of somebody's tires, okay? They're not a crazy. They're just very, like I said, they're protective, but they do it in a way that's very rational. I really like their energy a great deal. So the tower comes in to say, hey, we have to have a we have to have a meeting here. This is the corporate raider who says enough is enough. And that that lightning bolt knocks the crown of the ego off. So if this person was very egotistical or it was a situation that you knew was not sustainable, with this, it's gonna be this is where that tower built on sand gets blown away to build a beautiful, sustainable, 
stable castle. And so the tower only comes in to remove things that are not for your best and highest good. It's also a big awakening. Like I said, the star is right after it. So this black in the background, for some it can be ignorance. It might not be your ignorance. It may be the people around you, but it's like there's going to be an illumination after this where everything comes to light. The truth will come out. The truth will be revealed and boy, will it be a relief. I feel like you know what you know what you know, but it's hard to get other people to believe it. So you've got these two fives coming in. There is some petty nonsense going on here, some trifling, no doubt about it. But these are kids. They're kids with wands. It's almost like Nerf guns. And so with this, I just feel like whoever it is, they may be rather childish, but they can't really do any real damage. All right. It's really on the surface level. It's more of an irritation than anything else. And I also feel like part of the annoyance is just saying, how come nobody else sees this? Well, the tower is there. And so is this. With that five of pentacles, knock and the door will open, ask and it is given. And so with this too, it's all about redirecting your energy. It's not so much about being cut off from something you want as much as it's saying your energy, your vibration is higher. You're not a fit here anymore. And sometimes that can be bittersweet in relationships where we walk away from somebody and we say, God, it used to be so different. We had such a different energy. Somebody shifted, somebody raised their energy and now it's not a match. And so with a star, what do you want? Because you can have, do, or be anything. This is wish fulfillment. The energy of the star, you are going to have more power in a situation than you realize. You have an influence over other people. You've got great insight. It's a card too, though, of renewal. So whatever you've been through, whatever difficulties, this is where your love tank, your energetic tank gets refueled. And so with this, you have this connection to source energy here. And in a relationship, I'm telling you, somebody here, you've got a companion for life. You've got really, truly real love coming in too. So let's see here, Taurus, what the angels have to say about all this. What a crazy reading, but sure is real life, isn't it? What else does Taurus need to know? Advice for Taurus, please. Messages for Taurus. Abundance, all right? So that energetic shift, it's it's going to change and it's going to bring in abundance. They've got compromise, but it brings in those scales of a Libra, the balance. You've got look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are messages. Perfect timing, they say, and... You've got a yes. You create your own reality, Taurus. You can have, do, or be anything. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.